We all want to put our best foot forward when we are applying for a job. This includes a top-notch resume and an engaging cover letter. But what if the job posting states that the cover letter is optional? Should you provide one or not? Hi, I'm Debbie Dalma Heron, HR consultant and career strategist with freezemaze.com. Career experts have done some research around optional cover letters and how you should treat such requests. Let's take a closer look at this hot topic. Should you write a cover letter if it's optional? The short answer to this question is yes. It's best to provide a cover letter even if it's optional. It provides another touch point between you and the potential employer, and you can use it to draw more attention to your skills outlined in your resume, plus give a preview of your personality. Candidates who provide a professionally written cover letter are usually viewed as more professional and interested in the position than those who don't. Taking the time to write a cover letter can set you apart from the competition. A recruiter-driven small-scale study suggests that 73% of applicants don't even bother completing a cover letter or even write a short introduction about themselves. Doing the courtesy of writing a formal or more informal email cover letter can be pretty refreshing for some employers. You're probably wondering by now why state that the cover letter is optional. It's totally confusing and we get that. There are two possible reasons why employers state that the cover letter is optional. First, by stating that the cover letter is optional, some companies mean that you should write a less formal letter of introduction rather than a traditional cover letter, but they are subtly saying they expect more than a resume. Second, some employers treat the optional statement as an applicant test. Some large companies that receive hundreds of submissions for a single posting may want to easily weed out candidates that don't put in any extra effort. Here's the bottom line. If a cover letter is optional, it's not an excuse to skip it altogether. Even when the application process requires you to fill out a hiring form answering specific questions, it's best to add a quick introductory letter if you feel you've got a few more things to say. Now we're going to move on to what content should be in the cover letter. We have already established that most employers want you to provide a cover letter along with your resume. But do you need to make the cover letter content relevant to the position? Absolutely. The purpose of a cover letter is not to simply just check a box. It's a sales tool to influence the potential employer to meet with you for an interview. And for that to happen, your letter needs to be personalized to the job. Make sure to do some company research in advance. Here are a few ways you can personalize that cover letter. Research the hiring person's name and add it to the letter. Specify if you have a shared connection, even if it's on LinkedIn. Reference a recent company event or an accomplishment. And lastly, explain how the company values align with yours. Treat your cover letter as an opportunity to explain why you are interested in taking on the position which you can't really do in your resume. When your cover letter is done well, it may be the deciding factor for landing an interview with the company. We've covered a few basics, but what else should be included in an optional cover letter? Optional or not, a cover letter should do two things well. Communicate your interest in the role and highlight your fit for the opportunity. For example, if the job is to support product development, you can use the cover letter to mention how you would be able to fit in with their plans. You would mention how you previously led product development in your current company, what results you've achieved, and how you plan to replicate the success for them if given the chance. Apart from that, a good cover letter should include a strong opening, two or three paragraphs centered around your skills, and a closing statement with a call to action. Now, what if you decide not to send a cover letter when it's optional? If you find you may not have enough time to write a decent cover letter for the specific position or you're facing writer's block, focus on your resume instead, making sure it is perfect and send it in. Also prioritize answering other questions on the job application platform. Finally, instead of a full length letter, you could provide a quick personalized note that briefly introduces you and expresses your interest. An example of this for a recent graduate applying for a business analyst job may be, good day, I'm looking forward to becoming part of the XYZ business analysis office and applying my skills in process analysis, requirements gathering, 
quantitative and qualitative research to help XYZ maintain its position as a leader in the industry. Also, for the next time you apply for a job, prepare a pre-written cover letter template that you can quickly personalize for different jobs. This saves you a lot of time and stress. When a cover letter is optional, a lot of job applicants tend to skip it, but don't be one of them. A cover letter is a great way to express your interest in the job and provide a quick preview of your personality and worker abilities. Given that many employers seek out a culture fit instead of someone who ticks all the job requirement boxes, a well-written cover letter can increase your chances of landing your dream job. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it and click subscribe to get more helpful tips.